Hey guys, it's General Hans, and today is March 6th. Here's the news and the battle orders for today. All right, so first here is Super Earth, our beloved home, the bastion of managed democracy, perfectly liberated as it should be. So first, we're going to look at the terminated section of space. So Turing is 0.2% liberated with 34,000 hell divers. Meridia is 0.2% liberated with 31,000 hell divers. Fenrir 3 is 42.5% liberated with 121,000 hell divers. So the battle plans for over here, we need to hit Fenrir 3 and then split up amongst the other three planets, but we really need to secure, take hold of Fenrir 3, 3 first. <clears throat> so that's the order over in the terminated section of space. Edera Prime, 0.2% liberated, 26,000 hell divers on it. Alrighty, let's go ahead and move over to the automaton section. All right, so we've got four planets in the automaton section. First thing, we need to heavily focus on Dropnir. Dropnir is priority number one in the automaton section of space. It is 50% liberated with 25,000 hell divers, but that's not enough. I want to see 100% liberation with as many hell divers on that planet as we can get devoted to the automaton section of space. And the creek, that's what we'll hit next after we free Dropnir. Uh, the creek's 35% with 11,000 hell divers on it. Or 35 is not bad. That's pretty good, but it is dropping. We got it up to about 55 the other day. All right, Vandal on four. We'll hit that third. It's 6.5% liberated with 3,000 hell divers, roughly. All right, and then Ust Uru is 6,000% uh, <laughs> liberated. Uh, not 6,000% 6, <laughs> 6, liberated. Ust Uru is, has 6,000 hell divers on it. Um, and it's not looking like we're doing too good on our defense campaign. Uh, we might lose that, but if we do, we'll just rock it back over there and take it back once we've secured the first three planets mentioned. Those are the battle orders for today. Now, let's go ahead and discuss the news. So, a patch dropped today that has adjusted the armor rating. So, before, all the armors, light, medium, and heavy, had the same armor rating. But now, it has been adjusted to reflect their, their ratings. Um, also, bugs have been fixed in the game. Additionally... Um, there have been some modifications to weapons. Some weapons got a buff, some got a nerf. Right now, the railgun has a nerf um, on safe mode. Unsafe, it should still act the same. So, for me, that's the big one because I like to use the railgun. That's it's a good way to take down chargers, other than using the orbital rail cannon. Um, additionally, let's see. There are now meteorites and fire tornadoes that are things that can pop up in the game so you need to keep an eye out for that and of course as always stay tuned and uh keep a, keep an eye out keep your eyes peeled for uh illuminate sightings that's all i've got for you today this is general hans wishing you hell divers the best of luck go get them